I'm extremely excited for what we're going to see in the future of treatment for scleroderma. When I started working on this disease, uh, there were no FDA-approved treatments for, for scleroderma. We are now in a place where we have two FDA-approved treatments for scleroderma and a number of uh, other uh, treatments which are being used um, to help improve the lives of patients with the disease. I think we're entering a now an era um, of new drugs which uh, may be approved for scleroderma, and those will come not from a single um, place or a single company or a single lab. It's going to come from our ability to um, do clinical trials in scleroderma in a way that takes into account patient heterogeneity, um, the individual, and how one patient responds versus another patient responds. So for example, drugs that may many years ago may not have been, been approved uh, because their clinical trial failed may now um, make it through the clinical trial because we understand patient heterogeneity. We can now see a subset of patients that will improve. And I think that will result in more and more drugs that get approved for scleroderma. So I think we're uh, going to see a, a really exciting time for, for the disease uh, in terms of treatment and being able to better help these patients.